What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and we are back. So I went ahead and talked to both merchants. Uh, the one guy sitting behind me, he mostly just had consumables, so I did go ahead and pick up uh, plenty of stuff to get rid of stuff like Silent Slow, etc. But on top of that, ended up uh, changing up the equipment a little bit, got a Gladius over on Vaughn now. Didn't bother getting one for Baltier. Uh, did get a new Katana for Pinello. Got Ice Brand for Ash. And then she's got some shielded armor on, looking all beefy with that heavy armor. Um, six flute of pull for Bosch. Or, yeah, I got Bosch. Didn't get one for Baltier, which actually. Let me just go ahead and do that now that I think about it, because I forgot to buy the one for. Uh, what's her name, anyway? Uh, there you go, buddy. You get a sledgehammer. There you go. And I wanted Glacial Staff for you. Okay, now I can sell a Flame Staff and Slasher. Um, more importantly, I picked up some new spells. So, Zara and... She does not have it yet, but I do have Kiraga now. Let's let me see where that's at on the license tree. I think it was down here. Kiraga. And reach out. Hell yes. Cleanse and Asuna. I need to pick that up next. Asuna's really fucking good, if I remember right. And then, uh, for Vaughn, do I already have it? Uh, where is it at? That's Dark Magic 2. Did I get Dark Magic 3 without getting Dark Magic 2? Arcane Magic. Oh, Dark Rise right there. So yeah, picked up that as well. So we'll change up that. Instead of regular Dark, we'll do Dark Ra. And yeah, that's good. So anyway, let's uh, let's continue on. Let's see what this Mount Ermibura is all about. I see a lot of refugees here. And it's kind of chill here, considering I just came through some snowy mountains. But I kept reading that like this is where you would get your uh, your ninja swords, and I still have not seen ninja swords yet. I was hoping that those merchants that I talked to would have been the ones to have ninja swords, but no such luck. So. I keep looking. But I definitely need them so that Vaughn can make his transition into full damage dealer. And now that Ash has HP that's equivalent to his, uh, in addition to having some heavier armor, she should be fine functioning as a tank now. Seems like a pretty chill town. people though. Lots of people and not a lot of merchants, which kind of has me a little like, well, where the hell the merchants at? That's what the guy I had to go talk to. old as fuck. Is he sleeping? No, my child. Whoa. I do not sleep. I dream. For reality and illusion are a duality. Two parts of a whole. Only the mirror of dreams reflects what is true. Anastasis, your grace. I am Lay Ashelia... down your words. Ashelia, daughter of Ramanas. I have dreamt your dream. Who better to carry on the Dalmascan line than she who bears the dawn shard? Your dream of a kingdom restored 
is known to me. Grand Kiltius, then give us your blessing. Grant the Lady Ash her I accession to the... This is something you might reconsider. How's this My guy? little Emperor waiting. You called and I have come. Uh, this is the man I wanted you to meet. Believe it or not, he is a member of the noble house Margrace, rulers of the Rosarian Empire. I am but one of very, very many. Try as I might, I could not stop this war alone. Thus, I came seeking Lars's assistance. Uh. I'll seat Margrace at your service. To think I stand before the Lady Ash, it is truly an honor. Uh. I see it is true after all. Uh. Stunning is Dalmasca's desert bloom. Uh. This dude's trying to smash. In Arcadia, Larsa. In Rosaria. Al Cid. They dream not of war. Should Empire join with Empire, the way will open for a new Ivelisse in our time. <laughs> Grand Kiltius, you speak much of dreams, but in the real world, war is upon us. Grand Kiltius, I was told my coming here would prevent this war. I was to assume my father's throne and announce the restoration of Dalmasca, treat with the Empire for peace, and persuade the Resistance to stay their hand. I have not come all this way to be asked to reconsider. A word from you and the Resistance would stop cold, and Rosario's pretext for joining the war scattered off to the four winds. This was what we had hoped. Alas, circumstances change. A full two years have passed since your reported death. Were it to become known you are still alive, I fear it could only worsen our current situation. Because I am powerless to help. Uh, nay, in fact it has little to do with you. Then what? If Lady Ash were to extend her hand in friendship, perhaps I could then persuade the Emperor. His Excellency will solve things peacefully. The Emperor Gramis is no more. His life was taken. Father. What possible cause could we have to lay hand on our emperor? A deception and an outrage. The Senate will not stand for this. A viper amongst our senators? Is Chairman Gregoroth as its head. With what dignity remained him, he confessed to the poisoning and passed his own sentence. A viper with many tails. Much of the Senate is culpable. We had no choice but to strip the Senate of authority and assign powers of autocracy to myself until such time as order... Spare me your lies! I see the serpent coiled here before me! Trace, you speak too freely. Zargabath! Do not tell me you join in his mama's farce! With Rosaria poised to invade at any moment, our leader must have a free hand. <sighs> The once great House Solidor is now reduced to myself and my dear brother Larsa. Surely you would not go so far. Vain Solidor! As Judge Magister and upholder of the law, I hereby place you under arrest. <gasps> you misunderstand. Vain did not make himself autocrat. It was the very Ministry of Law which you serve. Do you see it now, Drace? When you bared your sword at His Excellency, you bared your sword at the law. You wear the mummers motley well, Bergen. <laughs> Damn, just gripped her face up. <laughs> Strength in human. <sighs> Zargabath, take the Alexander. You will accompany Bergen and bring Larsa back to me. Sire. Your Excellency, Lord Larsa was placed under my charge. 
Oh? Perhaps you mistook your orders, then? I can see no other explanation for why you were reporting and conjecturing on my doings to my late father. Your Excellency. A hound begging for scraps at the Emperor's table. Would you serve another master, hound? You may fulfill your duty as Judge Magister before us all. She has been tried and found guilty. Your Excellency, I beg you reconsider. Do it. I care not. Live, Gabrantha. Protect the young lord. Protect Larsa. Forgive me. Pray be quick. And so, how Solidor lives on. Bam. Let us suppose you approach the Empire with a peaceful resolution. The late Emperor Grammys would have lent you his ear, that much is certain, but we are dealing with vain Solidor. Should the princess return, he would claim her an imposter, or to tempt the resistance into battle. Vain wants this war, that much is certain. As our ill luck would have it, the man is a military genius. The dreams have told me thus. To reveal yourself would imperil us all. I see war, and Vain's name writ bold on history's page. Arcadia's banners fly high. They are making ready for the coming war. According to our latest reports, the Western Armada prepares for war under Vane's command, no less. The newly formed 12th Fleet has already been deployed. Oh yes, the Imperial First Fleet stands ready. They'll be underway as soon as the Odin's refit is complete. And there is more. The second Caravan Expeditionary Force is being called in to replace the missing eighth, so there will be no gaps. The largest force ever seen! And then, the Nethersite is the coup de grace. Grand Kiltius, your grace. I spoke to you of my succession. Let us put that aside. Should I become Queen of Damasca now, powerless as I am, I can protect nothing. With a greater power at my disposal, perhaps then. It is the Nethersite of which you dream? I require something far greater. To wield power against power. Truly the words of a Hume child. I am descended from the Dynast King himself. Indeed, then you have but one choice. Seek you the other power Wraithwall left. Does such a thing exist? Journey across the Paramana Rift to the still shrine of Miriam. There rests the gift he entrusted to the Grand Kiltius of his time. Seek it out. The Sword of Kings can cut through Nethesite. Why he would entrust the power to destroy Nethesite, the instrument of his greatness, to another and not to his own progeny, I cannot say. 
Awaken Hashelia Benagan and take up your sword or your dream will remain but a dream. Lars is basically like, well, fuck. My dream too fades into day. Damn. I mean, I knew. I knew Dane was a dick, but like, I didn't think he'd go as far as killing his own dad just so he could, you know, screw the senator over like that. I gotta find out where the hell these katanas are at. Because I thought they were here. I'm looking up katanas real fast here. Make it. Here, let me just do this real fast. Let's see. Or not katanas. Ninja swords. Final Fantasy XII. Mount Burr Omi says Nalbana Rabanaster. Even like the early ones, they're supposed to be here. Cost. After beating Judge Bergen, you can buy them and Ravenaster. Somebody else says they got their first sword in the Still Shrine of Miriam, so. Okay, let's keep going. I'm gonna head over to Miriam. I want me a ninja sword. a good job of getting Ash's HP caught up to everyone else. I gotta get Bubble, <clears throat> because my understanding is Bubble is basically like the god spell you want in this game. Like Once you have Bubble, that's supposed to make everything so much freaking easier, simply just because of the fact that it doubles your, your potential HP pool, which means that you know, right now everyone's like 5,000 HP versus the 23, 22. Not dealing with that ice all asshole again. I'm gonna go take out this judge, and I'm gonna get me some frickin' ninja swords! has given me his blessing. Let me in now so that I may obtain ninja swords of greatness. Guessing this is probably a, is it, I'm gonna guess, I mean, I'm guessing it's a dungeon, like similar to the dungeon I went through when I fought Belias, the Wraithwall tomb.
like it'll be pretty easy. Pedestal the Dawn. <clears throat> Treaty Seeker Relic held this pedestal in grace. Take off oil. Oil only really seems good against like a boss where like I need that bonus damage. And also, considering we are over 20 minutes and we're about to go through a whole dungeon, I'd say this is probably a good spot to wrap this one on up since we just met with the Grand Keltius. So, either way, still Shrine of Miriam gonna be in the next episode. Stay tuned, and we will catch you guys then with more delicious Final Fantasy XII.